Good morning, everybody. It's day 148. It's 7.40 in the morning. Just ready to go here. Um, uneventful night. Um, probably going to do... I don't know what I'm going to do today. Couldn't find any real good campsites. There's a shelter at 14, like 7, and it's just... That's... I hate to say it's too easy, but I'll get there probably too early. So, I'm looking to do 18, 19 a day. Uh, because the elevation is like only 2,500 descent. So, it is quite a bit of descent, though. I think it's 4,400. But, uh... So, I think at 19 and some change, 19-something, there's a road and there's some, a bunch of stealth sites there. So, I might just do that, but... There's no water there, so I need to figure out where to truck water in. So, that's the plan today. Um, should be about 60 degrees. I don't know what it is going to be at elevation, but I got some gloves on today. Um, just to warm up this morning. So, I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go. I'm going to get out the door. There's some folks up there. I think they're Soboers. Don't think I know them. When you take zeros, you tend to run into people you've never seen before. So, um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get on the road. And uh, hopefully there's some views today or at least something to record. Uh, so, all right, uh, we'll check on you later. Just came to a pasture here. Guess I should get over here. Beautiful morning. Starting to warm up slowly here. Supposed to be about 60 degrees today, supposedly. Down in the 30s tonight. I think that's just for the town, though. It's not like if you're at 4,000 feet, I don't think it takes that into consideration. This is so cattle and stuff can't go through. It's the first time I've seen one like this. Beautiful mountains in the background here. just fell uh, didn't hurt I mean the fall didn't hurt I sprained my ankle it's coming right here and that root right there was covered in leaves I just stepped on it and rolled my ankle and fell But it's wondering, I do not have ankle supports right now. Um, Amazon could not get them to me before I left the Dragonfly Inn. Uh, they basically, you know, small towns, it's really tough to get, you know, same day or next day delivery from Amazon. So... I might have to do some more planning and figure out where I'm going to be next and then have them shipped earlier or something. I don't know. But 
I'm convinced that I'm probably not going to make it unless I have them. These, these leaves are going to be probably the entire way all the way to Georgia. That's my guess. And definitely noticed once the leaves fell, like, that my ankles were, it was spraying my ankles, you know, just partially many times the same day, you know. So it really hurts uh, the speed because I have to slow way down. And even then it's still, you know, I mean, I was barely moving when I hit that root. I had just gotten back on the trail, so, but at this point, I've sprained my ankle so many times in the last five months that uh, I'm getting worried that, you know, I've done a lot of damage and permanent damage, but uh, at this point, I need some sort of help, <laughs> uh, otherwise... I may not make it. <sighs> yeah, the leaves I'd say are probably a major thing that I did not anticipate where it just makes the trail tough, tough, way tougher. Because, and I don't know, I mean, other people probably are fine, but I played a lot of basketball growing up. Lots and lots and lots. Well into my 20s. And sprained my ankles many a times. So bad I couldn't run for, for a year on one of them. One ankle. But, uh... But these, this, this, I mean, without the leaves, you can navigate the trail, you know, and, but this is, you just can't trust where you put your foot with the leaves. Some people are be okay. Some people can just put their, put their foot anywhere. It doesn't matter. They're fine. They have the ankles to support it, but, you know, and they won't understand. They'll probably call me a crybaby or something. But uh, everybody has different injuries that they had, you know, growing up and weak points, you know. Many people have weak knees. My knees, you know, fortunately seem to be okay. They do ache, you know, occasionally, but nothing uh, preventing me from, from doing the hike. But my ankles, for sure, that's one of my top, top uh worries on the trail so all right i'm gonna quit jibber jabbering and jibber 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 jabbering for four minutes and 30 seconds but uh i'll probably take an ibuprofen tonight just to help there's a lot of down today and down is definitely uh worse for for uh for rolling ankles. I don't know why it just is. It just... Uh, anyways, I'm going to hang her up and start using both tracking poles. All right, see you soon. It's hard to get a view. Tennessee. Uh, it's all these trees everywhere. This is pretty decent, but sucky. There's a dam over there, which I'm actually heading over towards. Look at all the trees, though. Red, green, yellow beautiful. I don't know what's in the very, very background, pretty high mountains, so. But, uh, this is Tennessee. Should note that this is eastern Tennessee, if people didn't know. It's 250, 250, and I, uh, made it to the shelter it's 14.5 miles to the shelter here like I said um, I'm not gonna stay here I'm most likely gonna go another 4.8 so 
Uh, there's no, I mean, there is water, but it's like way down, so I'm not going to even bother. I am really low on water, um, but should be going down here in the next 4.8 or so, and hopefully I can come across water. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a small little siesta here and, uh, and get moving um, by around 3 o'clock. So, all right, we'll see you soon. Let's hang around. I made my 10 here, did 19.2 today. Um, having the bear bag already ate, brushed my teeth. So, not really sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Need to figure that out um, tonight. Figure out where I'm going to go. Probably end up going into town, doing a resupply. I don't know whether I'm going to stay in town or not. I kind of need to charge my batteries and all that if when I go into town, but... Um, I'd rather go another day and then go into town, but um, it might not work out like that. So, um, I let's see here. This is a campsite here, but I got an email from ATC basically saying that uh, there's been aggressive bear activity um, from this road that's right here to 321 which I think is on the other side like some blue blaze or something so but it's like right across the street or right across this road that's right here but uh it is what it is and they just closed from the Abingenton Abington <laughs> uh, shelter to Damascus they just closed that too due to aggressive bear activity I passed that yesterday and uh I don't know where, I think that shelter was like f maybe 10 miles outside of Damascus. So, I mean, they're shutting all this stuff down. I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to make it really hard for some people because they do five miles a day. So, anyways, um, I think that's it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, probably, you know, I need to take a look at that. So I'm going to look at that now, see if there's any hotels or, or what, and figure that. Maybe I can just go in and do a resupply, then leave the same day. So, all right, I'm going to hang her up here, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.